Hello and welcome back to another episode of Power Rangers Lore. Today we're going to talk about none other than this question as presented to us by us another sub, Chase Perkins, who has stated the following. Here's a question for the fandom. Why are most of the allies of the Power Rangers knights? Different seasons have a knight as an ally. Why is this? Well, Chase, that is a very good question. Why are most of the allies knights? Well, it follows the same. They are kind of the same thing. Power Rangers and knights follow the same type of code. Now, here is a basically watered-down version of the Code of Chivalry. Love your country. Be generous to everyone. Never lie or go back on one's word. Thou shalt defend the church. You could easily change it any way you want. And thou shalt not recoil before the enemy. Now, how does this have to do with Power Rangers? Well, you can change these up. Love your planet. Be generous to everyone. Never lie or go back on one's word. Thou shalt defend the earth, or humanity as a whole, and or as the forces of good themselves. Thou shalt not recoil before the forces of darkness. Now it's very similar to what Zordon said to the uh, rangers to begin with. Well, let's think about this. Zordon did put his own stipulation of rules, kind of similar to the rules of chivalry. Never use your powers for personal gain, never reveal your identity, and never escalate a battle unless they escalate a battle to for you. Essentially, Rita attacking you, making the monsters bigger. Never go to use your sword immediately. There's no reason for you to if you can take care of the issue and not cause massive damage to the city. Now, this is kind of followed throughout this series of Power Rangers. Sometimes they reveal their identity, sometimes not. Most of the time they are hiding their identity to do so. And it'd be later on, like such as in SPD or in RPM, they kind of all know who their Power Rangers are due to them being police force or it's a post group society where our humanity is just trying to survive and there's no reason to hide their identities. Now, this is the same type of thing. It's kind of a knightly code. It's loosely followed in both senses. There are several times where essentially knights are also not doing the same thing. Now, if you several examples, the Knights of Xandar from Power Rangers mm, Dino Charge, I do believe. There's too many dinosaur episodes, I swear. But in there, we have a knight who shows up, who basically was a knight of Xandar. He fight uh, got against the force of evil. And when he was released into modern days, he essentially didn't uh, fully believe that these rangers were nobles like he was, of noble souls. But then he realized that they were doing it for the good of people and were saving everybody. So he joins them, seeing them as fellow knights. Now we also see Robo Knight, who is called Robo Knight, but I doubt he's actually a knight, besides the fact that he's a sword and that, like, he was built before humanity was ever really brought up and raised up to the sense of a knight at that time. He was asleep for thousands of years, so his definition of what a knight is different than most things. Um, there are the knights on Super Dino Char, no, Super Dino Fury, or Dino Fury, sorry, that hasn't gone super yet. But there are knights there. They essentially fought and had their planet destroyed by the Sporex and would follow them to Earth, even if their planet is destroyed, to see if they could stop them from doing any more. That is a noble sense of a knight. That's exactly what a Power Ranger would do. They would not step away from a fight. They would have to do whatever it takes to stop them and for the good of the rest of the universe and the forces of good itself. So this is why kind of a knight is used. People can understand what a knight is, and it just adds more to the whole flavor of it. If it if they could name it Power Knights instead of Power Rangers, they would, but it doesn't roll off the tongue as well as Power Rangers. Now, that's just what I'm going to say there. That is the only true theory. There's no true definition of why they're there, but that is why I feel as though, and I feel as though that is the correct answer. Let me know if you guys think of something else entirely, um, such as... As let me give you one more example before we leave. Samurais are essentially knights of Japan. They are already essentially knights there. We have ninjas, but we also got another samurai in Ninja Storm, which was the green samurai ranger. He is a knight again, standing for nobility and justice and also honor. It's all about honor in this sense, and the same thing that Power Rangers do as well. They don't strike from behind. They don't just kill somebody brutally they could have killed goldar and the rest several different times but he oh they always let him get away even the comics they say that and goldar understands this honor and the kind of understanding when they do that so there you go that is why there's always a knightly ally or you have a 
reference to them always being connected to some way to knights. In truth, the Power Rangers are knights in a knightly brotherhood themselves. Thank you guys, have a good one, and may the power protect you always. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe at the end of this video. Uh, all your likes help me out and all your watchers do too. Thank you very much guys. I really like to discuss with you guys what your topics are. May the power protect you always.